a set of new revolutionary procedures for the treatment of complex problems of the brain, neck, and spine are now being used to save lives at Maimonides Medical Center. Under the direction of Dr. Jeffrey Farkas, this $2.5 million interventional neuroradiology center is treating stroke and blood vessel disorders that in the past were considered untreatable. Take the case of Wanda Cologne, a 46-year-old woman who arrived at Maimonides' emergency room complaining of a blinding headache unlike any she had ever experienced. When Mrs. Cologne arrived in the emergency room, she complained of the worst headache of her life. That was a symptom of a bleeding aneurysm in her brain. Instead of bringing her up to the operating room and doing a very complex neurosurgery on her, we brought her to here, an interventional suite, where we diagnosed where the aneurysm was by doing an angiogram and then filling the aneurysm with platinum coils made specifically for this purpose and we were able to block the aneurysm from bleeding again and avoided major neurosurgery with her. I met Dr. Farkas and I just put my life in his hands, that's it, more or less. And he saved my life. A lot, I mean, really saved my life. But the life-saving that is performed in the Interventional Neuroradiology Center goes far beyond patients with aneurysms. The specialists often face challenging struggles against brain hemorrhages, blocked arteries, and strokes. 87-year-old Hannah Reinhold is a case in point. She had passed out on her kitchen floor where her son found her. Mrs. Reinhold's right side was completely paralyzed and she had lost her ability to speak. Her son called for an ambulance that took her to the Maimonides emergency room. There she was met by Dr. Farkas. Mrs. Reinhold came to the emergency room suffering from an acute ischemic stroke, which means that a blood vessel in her brain was blocked and that she was suffering from the signs and symptoms of stroke. She was brought up to the interventional suite to try to open the artery from the inside. We were able to pass a device called the Mercy Retriever into the brain and pull back the blood clot that was blocking the blood flow to her brain. In addition, the angiogram showed the source of her stroke, a narrowing in her carotid artery. We were able to fix this at the same time using a new device called the carotid artery stent. The Mercy Retriever is the newest technology in stroke intervention. This device reaches blood clots in the brain, then captures and removes them without invasive surgery. While the Mercy Retriever treats strokes, in French, merci means thank you. It is a term that comes to mind when you ask Mrs. Reinhold about the way doctors at Maimonides saved her life. I'm speechless. The Mercy Retriever is just one of many advanced diagnostic devices being used at the Interventional Neuroradiology Center. Another is the biplane system. It provides real-time imaging of the vessels of the brain, spinal cord, and neck. Its three-dimensional capabilities enable physicians to get more information in less time. It offers higher resolution so that the smallest blood vessels can be seen. The Interventional Neuroradiology Center, another feature of one of New York's leading facilities for sensitive and life-saving patient care, Maimonides Medical Center.